Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman on the success of Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference BIDIC 2017, which witnessed the participation of over 60 countries. His Royal Highness noted the positive results of the event, which was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King, <clears throat> with the participation of leading military commanders and experts, which was in line with His Majesty's support to maintaining Bahrain's security and stability, combating terrorism, and enhancing the military competence of uh, the Kingdom's Safeguard Bahrain Defense Force. His Royal Highness expressed pride in His Majesty's wise leadership, wishing him abundant health and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, on Al Iman School's girls section winning first place in His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge out of 41,000 schools from around the world. His Majesty directed the Education Minister to extend his congratulations to the school's Board of Trustees and Principal on this national achievement. His Majesty expressed pride in the outstanding achievements of Bahrainis in international events which reflects their excellence. He affirmed that this prestigious award reflects the quality of educational services and the efforts exerted in encouraging caters to achieve higher levels of creativity in schools. His Majesty noted that the importance of continuing to develop education and encouraging creative students. He wished all the affiliates of education for their progress and success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bidek's success, in which he hailed His Highness's efforts in the success of the event, affirming that the achievement has been made as a result of the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser success in his efforts that contribute to the advancement and prosperity of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi on the occasion of Al Iman School for Girls section winning His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge out of 41,000 schools from around the world. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the achievement hailing the Al Iman School's educational caters and the participating students for their efforts. His Royal Highness affirmed that the award reflects the quality of the provided educational services and the efforts exerted in the field of caters encouragement and achieving the highest level of excellence, noting the importance of continuing the development of education work, wishing everyone success. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent a congratulatory cable to Al Iman School Girls Section Principal Farat Abdul Hay Tulaymat on the occasion of winning first place in His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Reading Challenge out of 41,000 schools from around the world. Her Royal Highness congratulated the school's administrative and educational authority, especially the principals and teachers responsible of the program of this achievement, praising their efforts to instill the importance of reading among students and motivating them to develop their knowledge. Her Royal Highness praised the efforts of the students to tackle uh, the challenges and strive for excellence to add uh, to the Kingdom's achievements and wish the school further success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Education Minister, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, on the occasion of Al Iman Girls School winning the first title in the His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Reading Challenge contest, surpassing all 41,000 schools from 25 countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that this achievement is the result of the development of education in Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, adding that this excellent achievement by Bahrain's sons indicates their passion for reading. His Highness praised the keenness of Vice President and Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, to crown the winners of the contest and affirmed that His Highness leads a big project that has contributed to promoting reading in the Arab world. 
His Highness also noted the efforts of Al-Iman School, the Board of Directors and the educational body that have contributed in this achievement, commending the role of the parents in instilling the passion for reading in their children. The kingdom made an outstanding achievement when Al Iman Private School won first place in the second edition of the Arab Reading Challenge, where the Vice President of the United Arab Emirates, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, honored the school in the challenge's uh, conclude, or concluding uh, ceremony, which took place in Dubai today. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, congratulated the school's Board of Trustees, its administrative and educational authorities, students, and their parents on the honor honorable achievement, which affirmed the development of the educational march in Bahrain under its wise leadership. The minister noted that the achievement continues the series of accomplishments the kingdom made in the first edition of the challenge, which came as an initiative by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The minister affirmed the ministry's most prominent efforts to encourage students to read. Dr. Naimi attended the ceremony hosted by Al Iman Private School, where the results were announced. We can defend ourselves with good capability against any threat. The commander of the Royal Garden, chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017, Baidik, His Highness uh, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, received the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs and the chairman of Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and a number of the center's affiliates. His Highness commended the extensive efforts of Dirasat's affiliates that contributed to the success of Baidek. His Highness expressed appreciation for Dirasat's efforts, which helped promote the kingdom as an organizer of such specialized conferences and exhibitions specialized in military and security. His Highness stated that the extensive part uh, participation or preparations for the conference and exhibition stemmed from the importance of the meeting between leading security and defense services providers and senior military officials, where they would exchange visions and ideas uh, concerning concerning the latest developments in the industry and means of developing partnerships. Sheikh Nasser noted the wide attendance of the discussion sessions in the Middle East Military Alliance and Coalition Conference, MEMAC, which brought together a number of military leaders and spokespersons specialized in political and strategic affairs. For his part, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa affirmed that Bahrain supports the maintenance of the maintenance of peace and security in the world. He added that the Higher Organizing Committee of Baidek, under the chairmanship of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, is well aware of the importance of military alliances in maintaining world peace and stability along with friendly nations, which is the reason why Bahrain decided to host its first convention and exhibition in cooperation with the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen, the Islamic military alliance to fight terrorism under the leadership of Saudi Arabia and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed called then for early preparations of the next edition of Baidek.
Royal Guard Commander and Chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017, BIDEC, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the advisor of the Supreme Commander of Yemen's Armed Forces and Yemen's representative in the Joint Forces Command, Lieutenant General Mohammed Ali Al Maqdishi. In the presence of Commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces, His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the Yemeni military officials the latest regional and international developments and the efforts exerted by the Arab coalition forces to support the legitimacy in Yemen in combating terrorist groups and Houthi militias as well as ousted Yemeni President Saleh's loyalists. al maqdishi praised the efforts of the Bahraini forces participating in the Arab coalition led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and their heroic role in restoring hope and supporting legitimacy and also thanking them for their role in establishing peace and security in Yemen. His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Inspector General of the Navy Rear Admiral Mustafa Al Alami of the Kingdom of Morocco in the presence of His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the Moroccan military official the latest military developments presented in BIDEC and the latest technology in the military field. Al Alami affirmed that BIDEC has been a remarkable success in terms of the number of countries and companies participating in the exhibition. The defense and military industries, in addition to the modern military techniques that were included in the pavilions of the exhibition. Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference has been a remarkable success in terms of the number of countries and companies exhibiting the defense and military industries, in addition to the modern military techniques included in the pavilions of the exhibition. The meeting was attended by Morocco's ambassador to Bahrain. His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser received Turkey's ambassador to Bahrain, Hatun Demirir, in the presence of His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid, who presented to His Highness a delegation from the Turkish Ministry of Defense. His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the Turkish military delegation the latest military developments presented in BIDEC and the latest technologies in the military field. The delegation praised the level of the exhibition and conference and the modern and advanced military equipment presented by participating companies companies, which is a platform for the world's leading companies to display the latest defense systems and military techniques, and provided an, an, an opportunity for government military bodies to view the most advanced defense systems, equipment, and technologies currently in use. The Special Royal Guard Force Commander, His Highness Major, Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received a number of representatives from international companies specialized in military and defense industries. During His Highness's visit to BIDEC on its final day, His Highness discussed with the guests methods of coordination and cooperation amid or aiming to develop the abilities and competencies of the Special Royal Guard Force. His Highness met with the Director of Military Operations Development at Bell Helicopter, Douglas Wolf, where he hailed the company's efforts in providing military systems with advanced technologies and preparations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also received the retired Director of the Military Programs at uh, Flight Safety International, Keith Traster, and they discussed topics related to the company's activities of air defense industry, commending the company's long experience in the air defense field. His Highness also met with the president of DTC for Modern Military Protection and Control, Tim Young, where they discussed the exhibition and the opportunity it uh, represents or for exchanging expertise and enhancing partnerships that develop combat abilities. Major Shekhad discussed with the marketing and sales manager at uh, CupTech for military preparations, Rob Robinson, and the director of the Middle East Affairs Operations at Tregi Cone for defense methods, John uh, Birdsell. Uh, the methods of cooperation between the Special Royal Guard Force and the two companies, praising their efforts in the field of supporting military and defense methods. The international company's managers lauded the level of organization and participation in the exhibition, wishing His Highness Sheikh Khalid success in his efforts to enhance the Special Royal Guard Force abilities.
Bidec 2017 ended today after a highly successful run. More in this report with Shogun Mohammed. After three exciting and action-packed days, Bidec 2017 has concluded. The exhibition itself was a smashing success, as well as the off-site activities, including the warship display, military vehicle demonstrations, shooting demonstrations, and parachute demonstrations. We, we organize these sorts of events around the world, but the experience we've had here this week and the hospitality we've had and the fantastic working relationship with the BDF and all the other branches of the, the military and, and, and the whole Bahrain community that has supported it has been a really tremendous experience. It, it really feels like we've become part of the island and, and this show has been a tremendously important event for the island and it's, it's a privilege really to be, be part of something um, of this scale and, and this importance. We, we already have plans, um, we already have dates for two years from now. These sorts of events around the world always operate on a two-year cycle and even as we speak here towards the end of the show, we've got about a, an hour to go now, our team are walking around and, and talking to the exhibitors and pretty much without exception, they're all telling us they want to come back, they want bigger stands, they want to bring more equipment, they, they've really enjoyed their experience here, so I think certainly bigger and better in, in two years from now. Bidec is the first exhibition of its kind in the region and has certainly proved to be a force to be reckoned with. Everyone in attendance was impressed with the magnitude of the event and the organization. I would like to thank uh, His Highness uh, Brigadier Sheikh uh, uh, Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa uh, for taking the initiative and arranging Bidek uh, in Bahrain. Uh, it is very nice event and uh, went very successful for us. We as Delta Safety and Security Services, we are Bahrain based company and by participating in this event it was uh, very nice for us to interact with all the end users and bring all the technologies to our platform and educate them what the advanced technologies are available in security market nowadays. So it went very successful and we thank His Highness for this uh, uh, privilege given to us and uh, I hope that uh, in 2019 the show will be great again. Uh, the organization was almost perfect uh, for the first show it is really impressive and uh, we have seen almost everybody from the, our customers from the Navy from the GHQ level up to the Navy level so that was very sufficient for us. This uh, first of a kind Bidec convention uh, put on by the royal family is an opportunity for people like myself who have unique technology to bring it to Bahrain for the benefit of the Bahrain Army and Special Forces. This convention has given us more business opportunities than the last con conventions I've attended in the last five years. Bidec saw people and companies from all over the world and was a testament to the kingdom's advancement in the military and defense fields. And with that, Bidec 2017 has come to a close, with both exhibitors and visitors alike looking forward to being back here in 2019. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. Bidec 2017 made history and has been added to the kingdom's calendar after a successful first edition. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Bahrain's first tri service defense exhibition covering land, sea and air was a tremendous success attracting considerable interest across the region and the world. Uh, of course this will have a, a positive impact on uh, the tourism sector in Bahrain. Uh, we just had a look today on uh, the hotel's uh, statistics and there is an increase of 40% in five-star hotels due to Bidic along the, the conference that was a part of the exhibition uh, had a vital role in uh, uh, putting Bahrain in the international media where it was uh, the first appearance of many uh, well-known international speakers uh, uh, in the exhibition. Bidek, along with the significant support from the Bahrain Defense Force, Royal Bahrain Naval Force and the Royal Bahraini Air Force, attracted over 9,120 international visitors, along with 189 international participating exhibiting companies from 39 countries, with over 1,000 visitors present in the five different off-site activities locations, along with over 800 delegates attending the conference, which contributed to the facilitation of partnerships and the sharing of technology and inventions across the different delegations. BIDIC 2017 is a great opportunity to everyone, uh, everybody happy and we really thank uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad to give us this opportunity to participate on uh, BIDIC 2017. The participation over here is an honor for 
us because we feel that we are participating in our country. The Bahrain is and Saudi Arabia, as you know, there is no difference between them. So when we ask to come over here and we joined and we know that this is going to be the first one, we joined in fully to show how much the country over here in Bahrain uh, is united with us and we are one country. The Bahrain Defense Force also signed the biggest deal in its history, worth 3.8 billion U.S. dollars to purchase 16 F-16 fighter jets from U.S. aerospace company Lockheed Martin. Bahrain is the first country in the region to sign such a deal with the American Aerospace and Defense Technologies company, highlighting the great development witnessed by RBAF. Bahrain's defense exhibition puts Bahrain in the map and showcases Bahrain's potential in hosting world-class events. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. And to speak more about the success of the event, we are joined in the studio by Chairman of Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, and Chairman of Middle East Military Alliance and Coalition Conference, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Welcome to the news. Um, doctor, first of that, uh, what can you tell us about um, the highlights of the Bahrain, of the, of the Baidak exhibition, basically? Baidak was a tremendous success. We had 189 exhibitors from 39 countries. Over the past uh, three days, we have uh, 9,120 visitors. We had uh, 61 official delegations from 26 countries. Uh, we have uh, more than 1,000 people visiting the uh, off-site uh, activities in five different locations uh, in Bahrain. And uh, we were very glad to see the uh, international appetite there were uh, registered international visitors from 45 different countries. Mm -hmm. So if you add uh, the numbers up, it reflects how uh, the success of BIDEC and uh, the, the international presence reflected uh, uh, quite uh, positively in the uh, exhibition itself. Great. Um, also, uh, alongside the exhibition was the MEMEC conference, and it's closed today. Um, it was opened up by uh, General uh, Rahil Sharif and shed light on the challenges facing the region and the wider global implications. So what are the outcomes of the conference that would contribute to the development of alliances um, and joint actions in the future? We had a numerous lineup of speakers uh, from many different uh, parts of the world representing different uh, military alliances and coalitions. We had uh, partnership with the uh, Islamic Military Counter yeah. Terrorism Coalition. Uh, we had uh, the uh, Arab Coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen as, uh, as partners as well. We have representatives from uh, the NATO, from the UN peacekeeping operations, and representatives from uh, different strategic and uh, military uh, specialized uh, think tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, over the course uh, of the uh, military uh, alliances and coalition conference, MIMAC, uh, over two days, we had an opening uh, keynote speech by General Rahil Sharif that have uh, laid out the ground and uh, uh, put forward the strategy of the Islamic coalition for the first time uh, being presented in his official capacity uh, here in Bahrain. Uh, obviously, he has chosen Bahrain mm -hmm. uh, stemming from his confidence in this platform, uh, providing the uh, necessary means for him the engagement with international uh, military leaders from around the world uh, interested and keen to listen from him personally and uh, second day we had four different sessions focusing on the importance of uh, military international alliances generally and then focused on the challenges and the opportunities that uh, lie before them uh, we focused on the use of technology to advance military capabilities for military alliances and coalitions and uh, we finally came up with uh, some sorts of uh, policy support formulations. We had uh, in the first uh, opening session we had around 450 people attended and over the course of uh, the four sessions and the second day we had around 800 uh, participants. Amazing. That doubled in number. Um, we also know for a fact now that uh, BIDEC was a, success, uh, a successful exhibition and the conferences attached to it were also successful. Um, from our news today, we also uh, read uh, that uh, Sheikh Khalid had a couple of uh, meetings also with some of the companies that exhibited here. What can you tell us about the future of BIDEC? 
62% of the exhibiting companies in BIDAC 2017 have already pre-booked their space for BIDAC 2019. Yeah. This indeed reflects the international satisfaction and confidence in Bahrain being a platform for three main things. Firstly, providing a platform to showcase their latest technology, latest equipment, and latest systems in military and defense <coughs> industries. Secondly, <coughs> providing a platform for international strategic thought. And thirdly, having a platform whereby international appetite from many different parts of the world yeah. would come over to Bahrain, attend this exhibition and conference, to visit the different exhibitors and to attend an internationally renowned conference. At the end, I would sincerely like to uh, pay tribute uh, to, to Bahrain and uh, thank the Bahrain Defense Force uh, for all the support they have provided us in uh, organizing the uh, conference and uh, in my capacity as, uh, as a chairman of Durasat, I would like to express my gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and given Durasat yeah. the uh, trust and confidence in organizing the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference. Thank you so much, uh, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed, for this interview. See you again when it comes on. Thank you very Thank much. Bidex's final off-site demonstration started off in the fields of the presidency of uh, the National Guard with a wide participation of military heads of and delegations and the companies manufacturing the latest military mechanisms, vehicles and light weapons. Present were the senior officers and officials in Bahrain Defense Force, BDF and the National Guard. The participation consisted of inspecting and testing military mechanisms and vehicles to ensure their readiness and ability to deliver a high performance. The shooting range targeted uh, witnessed or uh, targets witnessed a level of high uh, precious or precision in the live uh, shooting using various light weapons. The Bahraini military and security forces, along with Gulf and international participation, gave a free fall parachute demonstration. The event manager, Mohammed al Mrekhi, affirmed that the parachuting demonstration coincided with BIDEC 2017 to raise the competency of Bahraini and Gulf forces. He added that the participation or the participants made the jump from 11,000 feet, noting that the joint forces received daily military training. The parachutes are owned, owned by Airborne and are considered one of the best in the world with a GPS and an aviation navigation system. Special forces and forces from the BDF, the Royal Guards, the Bahraini Police and Gulf and American Pro forces took part in the demonstration. The event witnessed a wide participation from Bahraini Gulf and American forces. An interesting exercise because it's probably one of the, the few times that we've actually combined an exhibition with a demonstration of parachuting as well. Normally we go to exhibitions just with a, a booth, but uh, this time it was a, it was a whole different ball game really. And it's, yeah. been, it's been quite enjoyable to organize. It's really a treat to be able to work in this environment with, with different nationalities. You know, meeting the soldiers here fuels our imagination. This is getting their feedback, being able to see how they operate, what their problems are, how we can solve them and work together. And these, you know, these soldiers have been extremely professional and, and receptive. So, so it, you know, so far, I mean, it, it's been a, an incredible experience and the organization here is, is stellar. Well, uh, first of all, the uh, Royal Guard Special Forces, um, I pr primarily teach these guys, so I've had them from jump zero. Uh, now they have around 150 jumps, so I've taught them the basics of accuracy, I've taught them uh, the, the ability to stack parachutes together. So for those making the transition to Airborne Systems Kit, it's quite straightforward, uh, so there's, there's no problem there at all. We can defend our, ourselves with uh, good capability against any threat. Today, the world is one and one is one. The world is one and one is one.
The 18-day long festival continues to empower the kingdom's youth in the fields of arts, culture and humanitarian works. More details in the following report. The Khalid Muhammad Theatre's Festival for National Clubs, Youth Centers and People with Disabilities continues its 18-day-long festival, holding its place as a successful regional event supporting the youth. It's a great idea of uh, uh, you know, the, the responsibility which uh, taking care of the uh, care of Sheikh uh, Khalid and uh, it is also opportunity to put those uh, handicaps or uh, whatever in the field just to uh, let them give what they have. They are, maybe they disable in the, in the, in the part of their uh, body, but their minds still active, still creating. So why we not, uh, you know, give them uh, the chance? Uh, this initiative uh, will help uh, foster and uh, uh, help uh, young actors prosper uh, and we're going to see a new generation of uh, theater goers and uh, theater actors. Uh, it is very important uh, for the youth of Bahrain to be participating in uh, these uh, artistic uh, in these artistic arenas and uh, it is actually what we've been missing out uh, in the past years and uh, uh, we actually need uh, more uh, efforts in uh, creating a whole new generation of uh, artistic people and theater goers and a whole community that surrounds it. The festival, in its third year, continues to contribute to creating a new Bahraini generation of artists who would represent the Bahraini arts and cultural movement regionally and internationally in the future. The disabled sector, because the disabled sector, we, we need to merge them in the, uh, in the society uh, and the disabled sector, they are separated. So we need them to, to, to be in the society. So one of the initiatives is that uh, the disabled sector. And I'm glad I saw many plays uh, thing, since uh, days uh, past. Uh, some disabled in, in such a place here and there. So that, that's a, a good issue. But we need to continue uh, in, in taking care of total of 12 plays are scheduled to be performed by local youth centers and clubs during the festival, which is annually held as part of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa's initiatives to support the youth of the kingdom and to engage them with different events and activities. 